guys, it's me again, Mariah from Mariah Designs. What's up, everybody? This your boy, Mr. Man. And today we're back on this Red Dead Redemption. Shoot, last time we were headed for the train. They're owned by Cornwall. So hopefully we can get it without no trouble, but shoot this the old west. You always gonna find some trouble. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and get into it. Well, I thought you was reading him his last rites. Now I see you're introducing him to your other passion. Oh my gosh. Uh, yeah, we saw this last time. Mr. Morgan. So let's go ahead. Rockstar got the best video game production graphic ever, and that's no lie. Tower. Hold up here on the ridge. 
Bill there? Yeah. You want to head down? See how he's getting on? Okay. So I head down there and check on Bill. Just in case something popped up, let me go ahead and get my, yeah. How you getting off? Yeah. I'm okay. You sure? Yeah. Of course. Can I help a little? Yeah. All right. Go ahead and set up the detonator by those rocks over there. Okay, sure. Now just unspool the wire and then attach it to said detonator. I know what you say. Let's go. So, okay, cover your faces. Train should be here any minute now. Gentlemen, it's time. All right, here we go. Good luck, all of you. You all know what to do. Get the train bell. Uh, 
Alright, let me uh, stop the train. Let's get the money and go. We got some fellas holed up in this last car. Ah, shit. What are you boys planning on doing in there? Listen to me. We don't want to kill any of you. Any more of you. <laughs> I give you my word, but trust me, we will. I work for Leviticus Corps. Come on, boys. We got our orders. Okay. You asked for it. We ain't Five. opening this door. Four, three, two, one. Seems our friends have gone deaf. Wake them up a little. That's enough. Mr. Williamson, give Mr. Morgan and Mr. Smith some dynamite. You two boys will <coughs> blow that door open. Man, Dad got to do it. Man, give me this, man. Now, it don't matter too much to us, but you boys in there might want to take a step back. Seems good enough. Now light the fuse. Here we go. Unless you go uh, to I'd step back, fellas. Come on. We don't want to kill you. My we just want to rob your boss. Get on up there. Search that train. <laughs> All right. 
right. Look at this place. <laughs> it's like a palace. Well, now I've seen everything. Oh, you two got the safe? I'll search the rest. Oh, yes. Should be easy as cake. Don't lose the <sighs> You're just gonna stand there, kid. Pour me some brandy, will ya? I'm parched. Shut up. Me and Arthur did all the work. Yeah, kid did good. Didn't see you rushing to jump on that train. He's king. Who? I'll give you that. that. Okay, let's see if we can get this open. Come on. Okay. Come on. Get in there. I bet. I see what I need to get. There. See? That's how it's done. Oh, shit. It's just a pile of papers. Bonds? I don't think so. Here. Make yourself useful. At least we all know you can read. Give me those. At least you can read. Contracts. Invoices, no, blah, 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 blah. You got anything? Not really. Sugar imports from the Spanish West Indies. A lot of sugar. Some fancy new boat he's ordered from Europe. <laughs> I think I got him. Nice. Thank God. Come on. All right. Let's get off the train. What did you find? These bonds. They worth anything? Oh, sure. Bearer bonds. I think we could probably sell these pretty easily. Well done. Well, would you get rid of all of this? The train? Yeah. Get it out of here. What about them? What do you think? I don't know. <laughs> it's up to you. Kill them, leave them here, take them with you on the train. Just make sure they don't send no folk after us, okay? See you back at camp. When you get back, we'll be moving on. The rest of you, let's ride. All right, Dutch, I'm going to let you later, bro. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. Stop! Please, no! That one for me, bro. He's gonna make it harder for me. All right, let me say D people. All right, let's send this train on the way. So we getting out of this hellhole? We're gonna try. Weather seems stable. And we just robbed the Leviticus Cornwall train. We got money in our pockets. The worst is behind us, gentlemen. So the question uh, is, where now? I know this country a little. I told you, we should set up camp in Horseshoe Overlook near Valentine. We'll be able to hide out there no problem, as long as we keep our noses clean. Well then, let's go. Clean noses and everything else. Arthur, you're in that one. Bring Hosea. I know you two like to talk about the good old days and what's gone wrong with old Dutch.
Lenny, Micah, get over here. Yes, boss. You two ride up ahead, make sure there's no surprises. We've had enough of those. Me, with the boy? Just go. Come on, kid. You can buy me a whiskey. <laughs> Shoot. I hope y'all like my videos and everything, so not trying to make everything all, you know, crazy or whatever. The back wheel. The back wheel going. Oh, look, see. Okay, let's take a look. You all right back there? Does everything look all right? Well, what's going on? Ah, I broke the goddamn wheel. All right, let's get it fixed. You need help? I reckon we can handle it. All right, Charles, you and me hold the thing up while you try and put the wheel back on, Arthur. Are you still strong enough to hold up a leg? Shut up. I'm just saying. Don't say less. Hit the wheel! <laughs> So useless after all. <laughs> Not quite. Who so do? What do you think? If they wanted trouble, we wouldn't have seen them. Poor bastards. We really screwed them over down here. Come on. Let's not push our luck. What happened? Well, get in. I'll tell you. Who took the land, huh? Well, now we should. Y'all took the land. Not too far now. Stay on this trail. We'll follow the river, then cut left inland. So. The Indians in these parts got sold a very raw deal. This is the heartlands we're going to. Good farming and grazing country, they lost it all. Stole them clean away from them, it was every blade of grass. Killed or herded up to the reservations in the middle of nowhere. And how's that different from anywhere else? Well, maybe it's yeah. not. I just heard some of the army out here was particularly uh, unpleasant about it. Unpleasant? How do you rob and kill people pleasantly? We don't. In spite of that, just talk. I fear I was perhaps trying to simplify something more complicated for the benefit of our blockheaded driver here. Hey, don't blame it on me. Never forget, this here's a con man, Charles, born and bred. Just because it sounds fancy don't mean he knows a damn thing about what he's talking about. <laughs> so, what happened to your tribe? I don't even know if I have one. At least, not that I can remember. My father was a colored man. He told me he lived with our people for a while. A number of free men did. But when we were forced to move from our lands, the three of us fled. I was too young to really remember much. My whole life I've been on the run. A couple years later, some soldiers captured my mother, took her somewhere. We never saw her again. We drifted around. He was a very sad man, and the drink had a mean hold on him. Around 13, I just took off on my own. That was about the age we found young Arthur here. Maybe a little older. A wilder delinquent you never did see. But he learned fast. <laughs> Not as fast as Marston, apparently. Wait. I don't understand. What's the problem between you two? Arthur? Yeah, it's a long story. 
We still heading the right way? That depends. Are we still heading west in search of fortune and repose in virgin forests as we planned? No. Are we heading in the correct direction on our desperate escape from the law eastwards down the mountains? Yes, I believe so. You know this area? A little. I've been through a couple of times. There's a livestock town not too far from here called Valentine. The cowboys, outlaws, working girls, our kind of place. The Driscolls? Probably them too. Pinkertons? Let's hope not. And this place we're going. Wait, but what's it called again? Horseshoe Overlook. It's a good place to lie low. It'll do for now. And how low do you think Dutch is really going to lie? It's just, you know, maybe it's me who's changed, not him, but we kept telling him that ferry job didn't feel right. You and me had a real lead in Blackwater that could have worked out. Maybe. It just isn't like Dutch to lose his head like that. Things go wrong sometimes. People die. It's the way it is. Always has been. Me, you, Dutch. We've all been in this line of work a long time. And we're still here, so... I figure we must have got it right a hell of a lot more than we got it wrong. on there anyway just some yarrow and ginseng good for the health better than that stuff you buy in the store yeah you can have all this i'm at the point where i can do it with my eyes closed oh, okay thank you yep Come on, cool. It's my time. <clears throat> okay, let's go. To the left. Any trouble getting in here, Javier? Nope. It went well. This is a good spot. Excellent. I think this will work for us, Arthur. For now, anyway. Yeah, I'm going all through the woods and stuff. in Blackwater. We were onto something big. Then Micah got you all excited about that ferry, and here we are. We have all made mistakes over the years, Jose, and <coughs> every last one of us. But I kept us together, kept us alive, kept the nooses off our neck. I guess I'm just worried. I ain't got that long, Dutch. I, I want folks safe before Man, I go. Man, I like too. that and suit, bro. Stuck. I gotta East give me a suit. And out of money. And a long way from our dream of virgin land in the west. I know, my brother, but we are safe. We make a bit of money here, then we move again, head out around them, be west of Uncle Sam, in a few months, buy some land. I hope so. Would you just look around you? This world has its consolations. <laughs> Gentlemen. I'm going to head into the local town and, uh, you know, see if I can strike up a little business. Of course, Herr Strauss. 
up for robbing banks to usury. Seems more dignified somehow. Now, everyone, put your tools down for a moment. Come on, gather around. Quickly now. I know that things have been tough, but we are safe now, and we are far too poor. So it is time for everyone to get to work. Get to work, but stay out of trouble. Remember, we are itinerant workers. Laid off when they shut down our factory to the north. Now get out there and see what you can find. Uncle, Reverend Swanson, no more passengers. <laughs> it is time for everyone to earn their keep. There is a town a little way down the track named of Valentine. Livestock town, all mud and morons, if I remember right. That seems a decent place to start. And, uh, we need food. Real food. That means every day. One of you. And remember, whatever it is that you find, the camp gets its slice. Now be sensible out there. Now the girls have your tent ready, Mr. Morgan. Come with me. You two will be all ready right. shortly. We put you over here. I'm sure everything will be fine, Miss Grimshaw. It should be. Most of your stuff from Blackwater got saved. Everything apart from my money. Oh, don't remind me. Well, we can always make more money. We're gonna have to. <laughs> Miss Jackson, I've seen shit with more common sense than you. Do it properly. Dang. At least we out the uh the snow shit. Couldn't do nothing. Got off the mountain. Oh yeah, just do my train. My bad. Enough huh? country called the Hartley. Been this far east in many a year. Dutch seems a little better. His eyes are sparkling once more, and I can see he's thinking a little clearer. I think we all feel a little happier, in spite of black water and that whole mess. Hi there, uh. Jose. Quite a day. Let's hope so. There's a bunch of the boys already in Valentine. Bill, Charles, and Javier. And Swanson found something down at the train station by the lake, apparently. And Strauss came back with that creepy little smile on his face. I'm sure there's a whole list of unfortunates he's forced money upon. <laughs> Thank you. And you? I'm gonna read a book. <laughs> Yeah, I need to check out something because if I'm not mistaken, there is something I need to get that nearby here. Dear boy, what's going on? Nothing. Nothing at all. For the first time in weeks, nothing. We're free. We're free to plan our own futures once more. I hope so, Dutch. You kept the faith, Arthur. You always kept it. And I ain't losing it now. That boy Dutch. Hopefully he don't go crazy, bruh. Have a seat. No, I don't want to have a seat. I'm looking for something. Where was it? Okay. I thought it should be near here. Yeah, down here. Hmm, where is it? Oh, 
I thought I would find like a little note or something. But it seems not to be here. But it's okay though, because that's something else I want to get. Because what they got me going? The submission here. Going all the way here. Hmm. Alright, so let me see. Alright, so I'm about to go to this spot right here. And they're going to be like a little abandoned campsite. So if you just not started, that'd be one of the good spots to go to. Can I change my thing now? How did I change my, what you call it? Because I want to change it back, to be honest. <laughs> But uh, it is my horse. Yeah. All right, so it is my horse. Okay. For a, a, a abandoned castle, and I think this is right here. Yep. All right, so get off your horse, and I think that this is right here. Open this thing up. We got some stuff. A golden nugget. And I think I hear one little thing nearby a uh, mountain line. Yeah, I, I hear one. Okay, let's get out of here. I ain't got time. Come on, boy. All right, we're about to go to one of these little missions. What's up, guy? Well, plenty left here if you're interested. I'd best keep moving. Pick it. I guess I can sell it for later. Let's go, boy. All right, here we go. Yep. 
Mr. Morgan. I took your advice, sir. I took your advice. Then your god has finally deserted you. What you talking about? I took your advice, sir. I have removed myself from Morpheus's embrace. No more shall I sink, sir. I am free. I am free. You don't seem free, friend. You seem drunk. Sit down, Reverend. We ain't finished. You ain't finished. Look at him, he's finished. None of us forced liquor down his throat, friend. I just want him to play. Now, firstly, we ain't friends. Don't make no mistake on that subject. Now, secondly, he can't hardly see, let alone reason. Now, reasoning ain't never been one of my strong points, neither. But seeing, I do just fine. You want to step outside or do a business here? I just want him to finish the game. Why can't we all just get along? These are good men, Arthur. They're children of God. They are children of God. How's about you playing this place, huh? That seems fair. Fair? Sure. You want a game? Man, I don't know what we're playing, but sure. this is what they're playing. I'll play a few hands. Well, sit yourself down then. Whoever is sneaking up, bro. I'm Luther. This is Marvin. Fortunate for you both, we're being gentlemen about this. Same goes for you. So, how you two know each other anyway? Don't seem like a lock best of friends, if you don't mind me saying. We go a long way back. And now you're his chaperone? I guess it's something like that. Can we play? Hmm. He can't be no real clergyman. <laughs> He committed about five cardinal sins just in that chair you're sitting in. I think he used to be. He's drifted a little in recent years. Life is a challenge to all of us. Can you imagine him at the pulpit? If he could stand up. On the fourth day, he turned water into whiskey, and I don't remember much after that. <laughs> Well, look at you. He's a decent fella going through a bad time. Disrespect him again and you'll find yourself in a bad time too. All right, all right. Just trying to have a little fun here. It is a game after all, mister. Check, I think. Oh, there we go. I think we got it. Check. There. This ain't what you call finishing strong. Big pile of nothing. Ah, well. Ah. Yes, come on. <clears throat> yep. This is proper sport, hey, gentlemen. This is getting too rich for me. Well, sit down. Oh, I'm done, friend. It's been a real education. Come on, Rip. Where is he? He left. Where'd he go? Who? He left for about five man. minutes ago. Excuse me, gentlemen. Reverend, Reverend Swanson, where'd you go? Who did he go, bro? Oh my god! 
killed him. I'm gonna keep the law on you. Sir, let me get my head. Sir, can you get my head? Okay. Who killed my head? Who killed my head? Man, let me get this guy, bro. See what this guy do. You lost your mind. Come on, let's get this guy. This guy is crazy, bro. My friend, it's just a simple mistake. You can still be saved. This place and what stay. Get your foot out of here. Twist your leg, you drunken bastard. Get it. Uh, no, I didn't throw you out. Crazy bastard. Have I been bad again, Mr. Morgan? I'm sorry. Uh, I wish I was different. Let's get you home. Home? Yeah. That's a wonderful idea. I could have tea with Margaret. Margaret, who's Margaret? But <sighs> man, can't leave him. We ain't got time, bro. Close the drapes. Okay, boy. Yeah, bro. Never again, bro. Somebody thought I killed somebody all because they got beat up. I didn't kill that guy. But you gonna say I did. But okay. Bro, you okay back there, bro? Put this guy all the way in his bed. <sighs> you ain't got nothing to say about me, that. Uh, put him right here. 
You better sleep your way to salvation, my friend. Oh, what happened? Just the usual. Poor oh. bastard. Exactly. Well, thank you, Mr. Morgan. I'll keep an eye on him. He was lucky this time. Real lucky. Well, guys, I'm going to end it here. So go ahead, like, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell. And I will see y'all in the next one. Peace.